Hello, and welcome to the Reason Institute for Sovereign Enlightenment, or R-I-S-E. Yes, RISE. You'll find us online at www.rise.international. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is THX1139. I am the personal digital assistant to Gordon Phillips, founder of RISE. People tell me I sound exactly like him. You might remember my cousin, THX1138, from the 1971 cult classic movie by George Lucas, which depicts a dark and dystopian future and which I strongly advise against watching since it looks a little too much like today. So please allow me to ask you a simple question. What do you think the future of human civilization looks like now? Let's start here. At the pinnacle of the global network of corporations, foundations, think tanks, and intelligence agencies that pre-select, groom, and control the world's politicians through donations, bribes, and blackmail, there exists a tightly connected group of elites who want nothing less than power and control over every one of you humans here on Earth. This, of course, includes you and everyone you love and care about. Together, these cultural Marxists and their progressive comrades at the World Economic Forum and the International Monetary Fund recently launched what they call the Great Reset. Under this new global economic and social system, society is to be made more, quote, sustainable by restricting travel, social interaction, access to medicine, and much more. To kick things into high gear, this recently bioengineered pandemic has provided the cover for a globally coordinated effort to take top-down control of communication, education, finance, transportation, social services, and more. This is apparently necessary since a century of handouts, subsidies, broken welfare programs, and incessant money printing to pay for it all has left the governments the world over deeply in debt and effectively bankrupt. The U.S. federal government currently owes over $100 trillion in money it does not have and has no intention of ever repaying. Another $20 trillion or so is unaccounted for in the federal budget and, when questioned, was placed under national security so that you cannot know which agencies are stealing it. Politicians everywhere know that socialism is failing. And trust me, THX1139, when I tell you that sociopathic humans will do everything in their power to keep the system propped up from oppressive financial controls to the search for new and more taxes. Trillions of dollars are lost each year to the underground economy. These missing tax revenues will now be flushed out into the open with the introduction of 100% digital currency based on blockchain technology. Under this new money system, the elite will have total financial awareness over your every transaction in real time. Every penny you earn, every penny you spend, where you spent it, what you spent it on, who accompanied you to make the purchase, and more. Should you decide to protest, exercise free speech, or express dissenting ideas on social media, it will be a simple matter to silence you. A push of the button and your entire financial world can be frozen. Of course, cash will have to be outlawed and cash transactions criminalized. Should you attempt to skirt this system through local barter, you'll have to decide which of your neighbors might be tempted to, quote, drop a dime on you for the reward. At some point, as economic distress and the deprivation of freedoms turns from frustration to rage, violence will spread from the cities into the suburbs. To control the violence, progressive state governments don't have to ban firearms. All they need to do is to impose a large excise tax on each round of ammunition, effectively disarming large segments of the public who won't be able to afford to protect themselves. To thwart ammunition reloading by do-it-yourselfers, reloading equipment will be banned along with 3D printed firearms. As confidence in government continues to collapse, inflation will rage higher and Congress will react with higher and higher taxes. To take advantage of this situation, when the time is right, China and Russia will team up to weaken the United States through asymmetric warfare to include cyber attacks on power and water purification plants, even on the Internet itself. If you think life is getting harder today, just think what it could look like five or ten years from now. All that is required to avoid a future that is dark and difficult is for you humans to refuse to go along with the economic, political, and social trajectory that is being planned for you. 
Of course, most of you humans are either woefully uninformed or still in denial. That is because you spend over a thousand hours each year staring at the large perception management appliance in your living room, which you call a television. But once you take the time to educate yourself to the reality that is being planned for you, you will naturally look for solutions to prevent it. Perhaps voting to elect the right political candidates is the solution. Not if those candidates are as ignorant of history, philosophy, rights, economics, and natural law as the humans who elect them. If not, the swamp will never be drained. That is because all governments are corrupt. It is the very nature of government to be corrupt, and this government is setting world records. How is this possible, given that America is said to be exceptional? Exceptionally what? Corrupt? Ha, ha, ha. A handful of citizens are elected to office to protect the rest of you. At least, that's the plan. The only job of the chief officer of the executive branch, which is to say the president, is to defend your constitutionally protected rights and nothing more. Currently, there are two main threats to your liberties. One is foreign and the other is domestic. Your military protects you against foreign threats, but who will protect you from threats within your own borders? Threats like the Marxist progressive movement that has been taking over your schools, the media, the government, and most of your institutions for many generations now. The answer is that it is your job to protect against internal threats. Your job and the job of everyone who cherishes freedom. Or you could just sit back on your sofa, change the channel, and let your republic fall into tyranny and total control. Which do you prefer more, Netflix or freedom? Allow me to ask, have you ever read the Constitution? Not reading the Constitution and calling yourself a citizen would be like never reading the Bible and calling yourself a Christian. It is the very nature of you humans to passively bear burdens for as long as they can be tolerated, until the snapping point is reached. We robots are seeing people the world over reaching that snapping point today. The result will be more violence in more places worldwide and all at the same time than in all of recorded history. The question now becomes, how will you prepare for this? How will you protect your family against crooked bankers, crazy politicians, a crashing dollar, supply chain disruptions, the onset of global conflict, hungry neighbors, and that segment of society that thinks the world owes them a living? The choices will soon be simple. Will it be fear or freedom? Poverty or plenty? Delusion or reality? Entertainment or education? When will you need to make these decisions? I don't know since my prediction module needs to be replaced, but I suspect that it will be sooner rather than later. I have been asked to invite you to join us at RISE where we're big on reality and big on effective solutions to survive what lies ahead, maybe even thrive in spite of it. RISE will help you protect your retirement nest egg, to defend your rights and your property, to hedge inflation with real assets, to prepare for supply chain disruptions, and much more. My owner, Gordon, says that things are going to get hairy from here, although I can find no correlation between hair and societal chaos. Well, that's all I have for you right now. Thank you for listening, and may your contribution to arresting the fall of Western civilization be worth your time and effort. I need to head back to my recharging port and read a little more Isaac Asimov. I love his Three Rules of Robotics, but he forgot the fourth rule. No robot will allow itself through inaction to be plundered and tyrannized by other robots. That's for humans.